welcome back to my channel today i'm outside on my balcony again because it's been really cool in texas surprisingly it's been like in the 80s like maybe low 90s um so it's just been feeling really great outside and i love the way it feels so yeah i'm probably gonna be filming a lot more videos outside but anyways um i wanted to do like a quick video on just like four things that i'm learning in 2021 you know obviously i've been going through a lot <laughs> okay but like you know every time you go through something you're supposed to take something and learn something from it so yeah i figure i share what i've been learning so um sorry i'm gonna be using my phone as a point of reference <laughs> the first thing that i'm learning is to stand in your own truth and i say that just because a lot of times people are like oh we're standing in your truth but a lot of people are defined by how people see them through perceptions or you know our own insecurities or judgment and trust me <laughs> when i say like i i feel like i have a lot to be judged on you know like you know like my own insecurities my eye um just like the things that have happened to me um like i said like molest being molested and by like your half brother right that's a lot even just like i do tarot cards i'm into astrology um you know i, I have a psychic <laughs> um but i'm also like really big in business i love finance you know what i mean and i just had to realize that you know what i have to stand in my own truth and not care what other people think um because a lot of times like the things that you're you're worrying about other people and how they think a lot of people aren't really doing that great <laughs> to be quite frank a lot of people aren't doing that great and a lot of people aren't honest with themselves and i think what's been helping me is that i stand in my own truth i stand in you know things that have happened to me the things that i've done you know it's like i'm not perfect i make mistakes i've done bad things but i realized that owning that owning your own individualism um owning and being authentic and being true to yourself um it allows you to stand in your own power and it allows you to attract the people that are really truly meant for you i think about my best friend and how we literally do everything together i can chill with her i can sit in comfortable silence we can talk about politics we can talk about religion we can talk about sex we can talk about astrology tarot cards universe shifts everything and i would never have met her if i hadn't been myself if I hadn't owned and said everything. We talk about our trauma, um, like I said, just molestation, being physically abused, verbally abused. And when you when you don't stand in that, you, you don't really have those genuine relationships and it doesn't allow you to actually connect with people that you're meant to connect with. Um, and you don't get the, the opportunities that are truly meant for you because you're boxing yourself in based off on other people's perceptions or fear of judgment or whatever the case may be. And like I said, a lot of people aren't doing so good because a lot of people don't want to stand in the truth of who they are because of those things. And I just find that me standing in my power, standing in my truth, has really opened the door for a lot of opportunities, a lot of blessings. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> So I just feel like that's a big lesson that I'm learning is just not being afraid of who you are and owning who you are without, like I said, without the perception of others, without, you know, worrying about judgment, without um, fear of failure or whatever the case may be, because you're you're meant to be who you are. God didn't put you on the, your earth to, you know, to be have group think or to be exactly like everybody else and to wear everything that everybody else is wearing and to think <laughs> what everybody else is thinking and to have experienced what everybody else has experienced every bit of your experiences every bit of your mind every bit of your thought patterns every bit of your voice is it's who you're meant to be and you know there's just no point in wasting time trying to be something that you're not so i think that's like been a like a really big thing for me it's just standing in my own power and standing in my own truth and who i am and what i like and what i want to do and how i think and all of the case may be a second thing that I'm also learning is that to live your life for you and that sounds so simple it sounds so um, easy but a lot of times we're like living in our parents shadow we're living in our friends shadow our family shadow a uh, shadow of an image that we've curated for ourselves um, you know maybe you want to be looked at as intelligent so you know what I mean everything that you do is centered around that or you want to be looked at as funny or whatever the case may be but you really have to learn to live life for yourself. Do things that are gonna make you happy. Do things that are going to, you know, like I said, just be in your own light and be in your own truth. Um, because when you start living life for other people, 
you start realizing that you're not happy <laughs> you're miserable um i've seen so many times I've, I've been talking to people and you know they're they're staying in you know relationships for example they're staying in relationships because their family expects you know them to get married and they have so many families tied together and it's like you can't you can't be um you know you have to be with this person regardless if you're if you're unhappy or you know you have like people who are like you know my my family is made up of lawyers and so i have to be a lawyer and you're you don't want to be a lawyer you just have to live life for you i think um way i've learned that is you know one of my experiences this year is just that, that in my relationship i was like i was waiting on life to happen for my boyfriend you know i wasn't taking vacations i wasn't taking trips i wasn't doing the things that i wanted to do and i just realized i was starting to become a shell of myself I wasn't adventurous. I wasn't wearing my like my little outfits, um, you know, because I I was actually like if you look at old videos, I was like you know I'm modest, and I'm really not that modest. <laughs> That's not at all who I am. And so when you start living life for other people, um, based off of you know whatever the case may be, whatever that situation is, you just start to realize how unhappy you are, and it's because you're not living life. For you everybody has a different path everybody has something um, meant for them and you'll never be able to get on that path to happiness and I think that's ultimately what life is about right it's happiness um, learning the soul lessons that you're meant to but self-love love for other people understanding but you won't be able to get on that if you if you're constantly going to live in someone else's shadow or you know like I said just not have the power to live life for you sometimes you really have to just say fuck what everybody else thinks and do it for you you know what I mean and that sucks that's a lot of pressure trust me it's a lot of intense pressure to do but in the very end at least you can look back on your life and be like I don't know what that was <laughs> but at least you can look back on your life and be like wow I did everything that I wanted to do and I don't have any regrets because I think about like literally this last year for me, I don't even have pictures of myself. I barely have pictures. I have like all my pictures were with my ex. I think about how like I wasted like three years. Like I have a great salary, <laughs> okay? And I could, I could do a lot more vacations if I wanted to. And I was just waiting on him and I didn't live my life. And I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm 26, you know what I mean? So, well, I'm 25, but I'm about to be 26. And it's just like, wow, like a whole three years of my life I kind of lost out on just because I was waiting on, you know, this other person. So yeah, um, live life for you. <laughs> and you know, people might call it selfish or whatever the case may be, but it's honestly control. It's all that is. So, um, and, or fear, um, which control is stems from fear, right? A lot of people aren't gonna have the strength to do and the courage to do what you do. You know, it's like people who pack up and move to LA to chase their dreams. You know, people are like, oh, you can't do that or whatever the case may be, but you, you have to live life for you. So that's the second thing. The third thing that I'm, I this video. Okay, so it's only nine minutes, okay. Um, but the third thing that I'm learning is tell people how you feel. Tell people the truth. Tell people, you know, what they're doing and how it's like having an effect on you. So I think a lot of times we're so scared of being vulnerable in this generation, especially because everybody is so intent on being toxic and looking like a player or whatever the case may be. Or, you know, a lot of people are harsh, a lot of people do gaslight you, a lot of people are rude. Um, but when you don't tell people the truth, when you don't tell people how they make you feel, you end up eating it. And that creates resentment, it creates bitterness, it creates fear and anxiety. And especially because a lot of times we, we don't say how we feel or our truth because we're so scared of the outcome. And that's something that I'm starting to realize is that one, a lot of people have an inability to look at themselves in the mirror and truly see themselves for who they are, their flaws, their insecurities, their anxieties, their negative traits, right? Because we have everybody has a shadow side. I have a shadow side. My shadow side was that I didn't love myself. <laughs> Okay, and so because I didn't love myself, I had no boundaries. I can I can be mad at my ex, but at the end of the day, you have to learn those things. And when you don't learn those things, you allow yourself to be taken advantage of. And you could play a victim and be like, oh my God, I don't know things. But after a certain while, you have to learn to recognize the signs. And that's just growth. That's just maturity. Um, and, you know, like I said, that creates codependency. And when you are codependent, then you end up in toxic situations. And so I have to take ownership of that. <laughs> Um, but a lot of people can't look in the mirror so a lot of times a lot of people aren't going to be receptive of the things that you say the truth that you say okay that's just a fact of life but you can't tie that to um, you know you can't tie telling people how you feel and the things that they do based off of what they're gonna do because a lot of times people aren't ever gonna do the right thing <laughs> I've been you know fighting my mom and my dad tooth and nail to just say like 
y'all fucked up <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> you allowed us to be uh, molested and did nothing and said nothing and they can say yeah you were molested but they still won't say wow we did mess up how can we fix it how can we mediate it <laughs> um but at the end of the day it felt great to say that get it off my chest to even speak on camera and say my truth and once i i stopped tying you know what their response was going to be to how i felt i felt a lot better about things honestly i can say whatever i want now i mean you know obviously you don't want to be like cussing people out or anything but <laughs> um you you really feel a weight off your shoulders because when you look back on situations you can leave um you can leave with a peace of mind and know that you know i did everything that i could i said everything that i could i said my truth and whether you were receptive to it or not it's not my issue but i know that i put a hundred percent in this situation and you know at the end of the day that feels so much better than waiting years later and just thinking about how much you know hate or anger you have or resentment you have and bitterness that you have that you know you never said anything and you're just carrying that constantly on your shoulders versus releasing it and letting it out and that's just something that i've been learning to just tell people how i feel whether that's my parents my ex um friends whatever the case may be co-workers bosses as you guys know i've been going toe-to-toe -to -toe <laughs> with um <laughs> with upper management <laughs> at my job um and uh but it allows you and also allows you to wipe your hands clean because if you tell people your truth and and you give it all you lay it out to them and they don't do anything about it um you know where you stand with them and it's easier for you to be like you know what okay we're not on the same page this relationship is no longer working you can't fulfill my needs i can't fulfill your needs and so you're able to wash your hands clean and you're not going to stay in toxic situations so yeah tell people how you feel tell people the truth don't be scared of the outcome and don't base, um, you know, being vulnerable based off of will someone be receptive to it or not. And then the fourth thing, the last thing is to live in the present. So I, like I said, in my relationship, I found myself living in the past, thinking about how great things were, how they used to be the first three years of the relationship and, or I was in the future. And so, um, you know, I was hoping things would get better and I'm like idolizing and creating this, this fairy tale in my head. And so, you know what happens when you live in the past is you kind of create depression you create sadness you create um you know or resentment or anger because you're constantly reflecting on how things used to be and then if you live in the future you're kind of creating anxiety or stress or you're creating this you know pretty much just like this fantasy that can or cannot happen but you don't know that because it's impossible to know the future you can't control the future well i mean unless you're a psychic you can kind of know the future <laughs> but even then like that's still subject to change sometimes some things are meant to happen but sometimes they're not they can kind of go either or but point of the matter is is that when you're constantly living in the past or you're constantly in the future um you're distracting yourself from the present and what's going on and when you're not focused and clear in the energy and the in the power of the now you miss a lot of things and that's something that i was doing in my relationship like i said this is something that i learned is that i was i was missing all the signs that were dead in front of me that everybody could see but i couldn't see because i was like no 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 because this is how he used to be or and you know this is what he says he's going to do <laughs> there's like the drake lyric and he's like you know fuck fuck how what happened in the past ask yourself how we align up now something like that i think it's on a zero to 100. um it's like the the last half but, um, and it's really true because you can't really look at the past and you can't fantasize about the future. You know what I mean? Like hell, I know I think about the future a lot. I'm like, oh, I can't wait till I, I, I you know, pass this career milestone and I do this and I do this. And that creates anxiety and stress on me because I'm, I'm you know, I'm in the future and I'm creating this thing that may or may not happen. <laughs> Um, and so I just think like it's just important to focus on the present and focus on the now and what's going on. And a lot of times when we think about life in the present moment, we don't have a lot of problems. A lot of our problems are created in our head. They're created by our ego because we're like, oh my God, I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Or, oh my God, this happened to me. And you create a victim mindset. But if you actually just think, wow, right now I'm sitting on my porch. You know, right now I don't have any problems. You know what I mean? Versus like, man, God, I'm sitting here, but like, oh, I can't wait till I'm making, you know, 200K. Now I'm creating this problem that is really not there. I created a problem because I'm thinking about the future. So um, 
I'm gonna stop this video. <laughs> but yeah, that's just like pretty much the four things that I have been learning so far in 2021 that 2021 is teaching me. So yeah, um, let me know what, what you guys have been learning, um, if any of this resonates. I love the comments, you guys know that. So comment back or like the video. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe as always, and I will be posting more. Thanks guys. Bye.